Thank you very much. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Mark Cox, I'm confused. I was told that uh, there's a three minute, uh, th 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 they told me they'd invoke the Metzger rule if I spoke more than three minutes. He, I don't know how long he spoke, but. <laughs> Dave, for those of you that don't, that don't know Dave Wojcik, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> Not only is Dave a successful attorney, obviously, a retired army colonel and a decorated war hero. He is my good friend and he was the driving force behind my involvement in Big Brothers Big Sisters along with the uh, former great Hofstra running back Mark Cox. Thank you Dave. About a month ago, and I'll be brief, about a month ago I was at my office in a a client stopped by, told me that he was going to be at the gala tonight, and I told him that I was flattered and I was thrilled that he would be here. He looked at me and he said, it's not about you, Jim. So obviously, based on what Dave just said, you could imagine that I was a little disappointed when he said that to me. <laughs> he looked, he stared at me and he said, Jim, it's not about you. It's about the kids. It's about Elijah about George, and about Emily. We, we saw that and we heard that tonight. That gentleman is here tonight and I want to take my hat off to him because uh, he had it right and he made an impression on me. I'd, I'd like to congratulate my co-honoree, Andrew, who's been around a lot longer than I have with big brothers and big sisters, but he's a classy guy and I'm, I'm uh, flattered that, that he and I share this honor this year together. Thank you. Tonight is a rare opportunity for me to be in a room filled with people that have been so important to me during my lifetime and are so important to me today. My parents are here tonight. They've been introduced already, but I'll do it again. Conrad Metzger and Patricia Curtis and their respective spouses who have added joy and happiness to our lives. My father, I can honestly say, is my best friend and my hero. My mother has been a source of inspiration throughout my entire adult life. I'd like to publicly thank my parents for the love, support, and guidance that they gave me as a kid growing up on Long Island, and the love, support, and guidance that I can count on today as a 50-year-old man. Did I say 50? I, I meant 51. I've been rounding down lately and no one lets me get away with it. My sisters are here tonight, Susan Pinnell and Trisha Dowd, the best sisters any brother could ever hope for, and they've blessed me with nieces and nephews that have become one of the joys of my life. I hope to settle down by the time I'm 60 and give them nieces and nephews so that they can have one of the joys of their lives as well. And I, I, I think I made a decision last night when I went over this speech that I am going to settle down by the time I'm 60. So you have something to look forward to in the future, girls. <laughs> my big brother is here tonight. He's not my biological brother. He was my best friend that lived around the corner from me. He was bigger, older, smarter, stronger. He might have even been faster, and I'm a pretty fast runner. And that's problematic when you're a wise guy like me and you're calling him names and, and, and teasing people because not only could he beat me up, but he could catch me. He played fullback on the football team, I played halfback. He blocked for me on the field, he blocked for me off the field. Nobody beat up Jimmy Metzger when I was a kid because of my big brother that lived around the corner. Thanks for coming tonight, Big Jim. Many of my most distinguished clients are here tonight. I would like to thank them for its, their business relationships with my company that have made this possible for me, that have allowed me to participate financially on this level for the agency. I'm, I'm humbled and I'm flattered and I'm, I'm forever indebted to them. My staff is here tonight on equal footing with my clients 
If anyone was wondering how a guy like me could earn a prestigious award like this, look no further than my staff. It's their loyalty, support, and competence that, that I'm here this evening. I, and I owe them everything. My business mentors, to my business mentors, Richard Ferrucci, Frank DiMartino, John Tantillo, Annette Wolf, and the Pontone family. If, flatter, if imitation is the best form of flattery, I hope you're flattered. I try to incorporate as much of you in me during my business career as possible. You all had an enormous impact on whatever relative success I've achieved. My friends, my former teammates, and coaches are here. I can't give you a better compliment to, than to say that you helped form the foundation upon which I built both my personal and professional life. And you gave me the greatest memories that, I tre that I'll treasure till my dying day. My colleagues in the insurance industry, in the funeral industry, and at Hofstra University, I truly appreciate the richly rewarding relationships that we share, and I plan on perpetuating them for the rest of my life. Our relationships have become the cornerstone of my professional career. I'd like to thank the gala committee for the outstanding job that you did this year to make, obviously by now we know it's been a smashing success, thank you. And the special Whitmore Group Committee of Annette Wolf, the only person I, I answer to these days. I just seek my parents' advice, but Annette Wolf tells me what to do. Annette Wolf, Kristen Pettit, and Rachel Barrett, you went above and beyond. I'll never forget what you've done for me for this year's gala. Why the big brothers and big sisters of Long Island? The fact, I, that's a rhetorical question at this point. I can, I can, I can delete that from my, my, uh, my speech. Uh, certainly uh, what I've described when contrasted with my own background, it was compelling for me to become involved when Dave Wojcik and Mark Cox came knocking on my door about three years ago. I've lived and worked on Long Island, lived and, and or worked on Long Island for almost 50 consecutive years. During that time, I attended some of the best public schools Long Island has to offer, played a myriad of organized sports, and enjoyed an enviable lifestyle made, made possible by my parents and the people I just thanked. I'm a graduate of Half Hollow Hills East High School in Dix Hills, which enjoys an outstanding academic reputation, and Hofstra University. I'm a proud alumnus of Hofstra University, which is arguably the best college on Long Island. I've worked the entire my entire ins insurance career on Long Island, based on Long Island, and I formed my company, the Whitmore Group, in Roslyn Heights in 1989. In closing, the, 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 only, the only challenging aspect of being an honoree was asking for support in these very difficult economic times, particularly asking my clients for support. As a tribute to my parents, who gave me every opportunity in life to succeed, I agreed to be an honoree. I can, I can tell you that in, 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 in all sincerity, I am humbled by the support that I have received and we have received as an agency And I am grateful not only for the financial support, but the fact that you took time out of your busy schedules, away from your families, your personal time, and came out to support us tonight. I, I, I am overwhelmed. I am humbled. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you in the audience for coming out and supporting and make this, this year's gala a huge success. Thank you, and God bless you.